is signing number 11. Oh, and ladies, I'm sorry to say the score is now six to five. Uh, David becomes the six male, five females. David is also the uh, eighth out of the 11th uh, uh, to sign at a D1 school. And that's a, a, a tribute to a lot of things, uh, mostly to you folks here in the audience, because you're the ones that uh, have to work hard every day. Uh, you have to train. David will be the first to say that a lot of his success depended on the uh, five guys in front of him uh, each Friday night. So it's an it's extreme team effort. Uh, and of course, uh, we'd be remiss without uh, uh, mentioning the coaching staff that we have here at Cabell Midland, which I've always felt it's second to none in, in all our sports. So we're, we're very blessed not only to have the, the school, but the, uh, the athletes as well. Uh, David, this is uh, uh, the best kept secret uh, he was hoping to surprise everybody with, uh, with his announcement today, but due to social media uh, and all the leaks that go on throughout the, uh, the, the area over the last several months, uh, I think David was the only one that was surprised at, uh, of where he's going. So uh, uh, without uh, uh, taking any more time, I'm going to turn it over to Coach Sammons. Uh, he's going to kind of orchestrate to, to help David along. So, on behalf of everyone, David, thank you. Congratulations on a wonderful season. And we know you're going to have an outstanding career, not only at Coastal Carolina, but uh, everything in front of your life is ahead of you, and you're going to be a success in whatever you choose to do. Um, just a little bit about David. You guys all know him, but when uh, he came here this year, he uh, we went to Bowling Green, and we took him to a camp, and it was like 50, and uh, it's just way too cold up here for me. So he's going to be excited going to Coastal Carolina because of the warm weather. Um, David, all along, you guys all know him, but he's so humble. Um, he's an outstanding kid. That's what makes him different than so many other kids. He's just an outstanding kid. And uh, no matter how many yards he rushes for, whatever he does, he's always putting his team first. And uh, so when he came here, he said he'd never cramp. He always cramped up in games. <laughs> And uh, he never got a cramp this year, so that was a great thing. Yeah. But um, he's got a great family, um, outstanding people. And uh, that's why it took David so long to decide where to go, because he always puts others in front of him. So. But he's a great kid, and uh, he's going to do great things. And all the coaches are excited. <laughs> friends are excited. So at this time, we just want to say congratulations, David. Uh, just allow me to say uh, congratulations again, David. This is a big, very, very big time for you. And um, uh, Coach Raheem, I'm the trainer at Next Level Skills Academy. And about two years ago, I get a call, and they're saying, hey, you know, I got a kid named David. He's pretty good. He's a sophomore. And uh, we want to do whatever is necessary to get him to the next level. And I say, well, I got to tell you, our workouts are tough. I don't know uh, exactly if he can finish, if he can complete it. And they said, well, David's a special kid. So David comes to the workout. We start training. Uh, he's scheduled for an hour workout. About 15 minutes into it, he's balled up in the corner, about to throw up, and says this is the hardest thing he's ever done in his life. And uh, the, the best thing that really just sold me on him was that he got back up. And he said, no matter what, coach, I'm going to keep going. You know, and that's what it's going to take to make it to the next level. You know, and that's what was most important to me. That's what I really wanted you to get and to see through the workouts. Anybody can lift weights, anybody can run and, and do the necessary workouts, but can you persevere when it's, your back gets the wall and it's tough? And this year at Calvin Midland, we saw that, you guys. It was, it was, it was big. You know, as a team and, and as an individual, you, you rose to the occasion and you showed just how hard hard work really pays off. Right? So again, man, I just want to congratulate you. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. You know, and we'll continue to work. And, uh, you know, let's go Coast Carolina, man. Let's go. David, I want to say congratulations. It's an honor to be here today to speak on your behalf. Um, I was trying to think about what to say, and, <clears throat> and a funny story came to mind. I was walking by David as we were having a pregame meal one time, and one of the coaches said, man, what are you listening to? I said, well, he listened to Taylor Swift. He said, no, he's listening to Justin Bieber. <laughs> but that's what it takes to get you ready for games, man. Um, more power to you. Keep listening to it. But uh, we do chapel every Friday before the games. And uh, I asked David, I said, do you have a favorite verse? Do you have a passage of scripture that you would like me to 
go and he said, yeah, my favorite is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. David is a great athlete. We don't, there's no question in that. But what makes David a better superstar, what makes most of our team better superstars, is they know where their talent comes from. David knows where his strength comes from. He knows where his skills come from. It, doesn't, it comes from hard work with trainers, but it comes from Jesus Christ. And that's where his faith is. That's where his love is. That's where his passion is. It's for his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that comes from a mom and a father that loves him enough to take him to church and to show him the values and the virtues and the things that are there. And I just want to leave you with the verse, David. It, it, it's Philippians 4.13. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Rely on the Lord. Rely on your parents. Rely on your family. Rely on your training to make it to the next level and do a great success. We look forward to hearing some great things about you. Once again, congratulations. David, I just want to say congratulations to you, and I couldn't be more proud of you today uh, than I ever am. And, uh, you know, I, I always knew that you had some special talents, and you always proved it, but uh, you, you learned to have your work, I think, match your talents, and you've worked as hard as your talents are letting you be. So uh, I knew the first time David ever played football, he was six years old, and he played for three weeks and realized he wasn't old enough to play on the midget football team. So he couldn't play that year. He's real disappointed. Chomping at the bit the next year, first game he ever played in, he got 10 carries and scored nine touchdowns. I went home and I said to Tully, I said, uh, that kid's going to be special. And, you know, he continued to work and prove himself every day on the football field and in the classroom. And Coastal Carolina, they, uh, they know what kind of football player they're getting, but they don't, they don't know what kind of young man they're getting yet. And uh, they're really going to really be happy with you. And congratulations to you again and good luck to you. Love it. Okay. Every time. 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 How you doing? You getting it? Yeah. 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 I want to thank everybody for coming out today, uh, supporting me as I start the next chapter of my life. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my teammates, uh, my coaching staff, Coach Sammons. Um, you know, they were the key to my success this year, especially the front guys, the front five. Uh, I wouldn't have any success without them. I want to thank my family. Um, my mom, dad, my brother, my sister, um, my girlfriend, Kenzie Midkiff, and her family uh, all supported me through the ups and downs of this long process. Um, it's very gratifying to sign this, it's, it's, to sign this letter of intent to play at Coastal Carolina next year. Um, it's been a long journey. Uh, I've worked really hard for this, but I'm not finished yet. Uh, but I just want to thank everybody for coming today. And I want to thank my trainer uh, as well, you know, pushing me. Uh, limits I didn't even think I could reach. Without him, I couldn't do this either. Uh, so I just want to thank you guys for coming today. Anybody in the crowd want to give a speech? I'll do it. No, David. <laughs> hey, David. David was real good this year. First of all, I want to thank God for this day. Um, it has been a long journey for all of us, especially when you get to the high school level. It's so much more um, difficult and different expectations, changes, and standards are certain ways you have to meet the requirements and it just get to the different level. And David being here as a senior year, it's been more than a blessing and an honor um, to be part of Midland Knights football team. Thank you to Coach and all his staff, the administrator, office staff, everybody, Raheem, if I, my family and friends who throughout this whole process supported us through thick and thin. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you.
Thank you, Steve. And really quick, I want to say something. Right? As a trainer, I train a lot of people uh, all across the area, you know, and um, if you're a parent and you're watching this now and you want to know what it really takes to get your kid, you know, on a, on a stage like this, you have to have unequivocal support. You know, you cannot put it on your kid to to just try to figure it out by themselves. They got to they gotta be led by example. And, and, and Pete and Tyler, I'm telling you, this this was an incredible family structure, even with his brother and his sister, uh, even with the chaplain. You have to have that infrastructure. I have so many uh, guys who come to the program and to see them fall by the wayside because they don't have that support structure at home. Uh, again, it's, it is more than just sports. This is life, right? This is life that we're talking about. And for it, the, the platform for him to go so far now has been set by the foundation that he has here as a family. If you guys want to know the true secret to overcoming obstacles and, and to get yourself to that next level, you really got to have that family support. So I just want to congratulate you guys again. Um, enough cannot be said to the amount of dedication, the cold nights, the traveling to NUC camps, you guys know it, waking up early, uh, you know, Steven throwing the ball, all the crazy stuff that you do, uh, holding the bag while I say, you know, let David run into you as hard as he can, the crazy stuff that it takes really to be successful. You guys are just an incredible family, uh, and I'm just, I'm proud to help and be a part of it. It's going to be exciting to see you guys go to the next level together. This is going to be big. Thank you. That concludes our uh, signing, David. I just want to say what a pleasure it was to uh, to watch you this fall uh, from a spectator standpoint. Uh, a lot of times on Friday nights, because of my position, I don't get a chance to see the whole game, but I always had an idea of when you carried the ball just by the reaction of the fans. And I had an idea of how far you went just by their reaction. So even though we didn't see a whole lot, what I did see, I really enjoyed, and I know all these folks really enjoyed watching you. And through the internet, we're going to be able to follow you this fall. So, uh, you know, you're always a Cabo Midland guy. And, and again, we wish you nothing but the, the best of luck. Uh, you're going to a really great school, even though it's by the beach. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great school, and you're going to get a lot out of that. A great opportunity to play. And on behalf of all those guys out there and the entire school, David, uh, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you guys for coming. Yay, David! He said, I wish you no Christmas. What? All right. All right, stay.